Hey everybody, Eric here, and I'm back at it again with another repair. I got this nice Samsung Curve 27 inch all in one. This is the uh, Samsung ATIV. ATIV? Comment down below exactly how you pronounce that. A 1.7 curved 27 inch, I believe it's 1080p display, uh, all in one desktop. So it's not just a monitor, it's actually a desktop. And we have it in here for repair. What we're going to be doing is very, very slow, and we want to actually make it faster. So how do we do that? How do we make an old desktop faster? How do we make an old laptop faster? How do we make an old computer faster? Well, these come with a one terabyte mechanical drive. And what we want to do is put in a solid state drive because that's going to make it a lot faster. We're going to be putting in a 500 gig solid state drive and fly. So let's actually just get right into it. Okay, so in the bottom here, we want to remove the stand first because that's how we're going to be able to access the panel. The bottom has a lot of these uh, screws we can just undo. So the next thing you want to do is once you get that part off, there's a little rivet here on the side. It's a piece of plastic. So we need to take off the plastic piece for this. And if I'm mistaken, it should go like here. Just like that. Okay, now this should just kind of pop up and there's probably two sides, right? It can't be one side, there's probably two sides. So let's get on the other side here, do the same thing. Okay, that just kind of comes off. All right, now we're exposed here, which is good. We're not totally exposed, but we're exposed. Now what we want to do is just remove uh, the stand part from it. I'm going to start from the top because I don't know if you have to remove absolutely everything here. So let's see if, if I could just remove maybe the top part. Just like that. And this one. There we go. So we got the stand off. <laughs> Not a stand off. It's a stand is off. Now there's some four screws here. Okay, so we can get a little bit of a gap here on the bottom. You can just probably work your way across. Let's get a little flat. Just need to get a little bit in there. Just pop up. And all we're doing is just going around. Okay, this should just come up just like that. Now we have just the base there. So there's just a bunch of clips around there. Just go around. So you don't have to touch where the button area is. You can just go around where the clips are. Okay, and this is actually a 3.5 inch. I thought this is going to be a desktop size, but this is a 3.5 inch drive. And the drive is right here. It's already unplugged, so let's put in the drive. 500 gigabyte Evo. Let's unscrew this part first. Disconnect that connection. This just lifts up. And what is this? This is a Samsung drive too. It's a one terabyte. So it's nice. So we could take off the sides here. I don't know if this has been dealt with before. You see that? Because there's screws missing here on the side. I'm not sure if that's exactly it. It's okay. You could just hold it in. But there should be four. Not really two. But I guess that's okay. Just going to undo the screws here. And we want to put it back the same way. So we want to have this part exposed. And this will be just like that. We're going to do it the same way. Put in like that. And we're just going to go backwards. We're going to go back in reverse. Oops. Okay, so that's it. Oh man, I got a hole in my glove now. So you can put this down. Okay, just screw it back up.
Okay, and that should be really it. Everything's connected. We want to make sure this is connection. This is the board. Don't want to touch anything, obviously, because this is, this is actually built in RAM into in it. So it looks like it's not an upgradable RAM. There's a wireless card that are actually soldered to it as well. Man, I've gone all day about this one. There's like all these different things. This is probably the IR blaster. Very small heat sink here. And fan. Very, very clean. Very nice. So what we can do is we're just going to go ahead and close it up. And we're just going back in reverse, and uh, we'll be right back, because uh, I think that's really about it, right? There's not much else to it. So, we installed the drive there. Um, we put everything back. Now we need to just install Windows. So, we do have videos actually talking about how to install, make a bootable um, installer for Windows. It's a way you could do it, as long as you really just have, like, a USB. But we have one here. We're going to plug this in, uh, turn it on, and then it should boot, and that should be really about it. Plug in the installer. It should actually start right away. Um, again, we have lots of videos talking about this, especially if you're going to be doing um, a new install, hit custom, and you'll see that there's unallocated drive, it's 500 gigs. So, if there's nothing on the drive, which there shouldn't be anyway, you can just hit next, and then it'll actually fully install, and that's really about it. There's not a whole lot to it. Again, check out the bootable USB on how to make, a, how to create one for Windows in there, and uh, yeah, that should be about it. Since you're doing an upgrade, obviously, Ray has a license, so um, it'll activate itself because it recognizes the old hardware, so... We'll install it here, and that really should be it. And we got Windows up and ready. Looks good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to install an SSD on this beautiful Samsung all-in-one curved display computer, whatever you want to call it, all-in-one computer. Um, again, this is going to make it a lot faster. Always want to do an SSD upgrade, especially if it's a little bit of an older device. There's no reason really to buy another one. It's always good to always revamp what you have especially if you like the speed and you're not doing a whole lot to it you're doing a whole lot of like workloads and you're doing maybe video editing and you're doing lots of different projects um, you're dealing with photos content creation those things and maybe you might want to go that way but for simple nice curved displays maybe a little desktop work maybe a little bit of school work maybe some some work from home type of things it says webcam has all those other good things always just want to make sure it's just up to date Make sure it's all nice and speedy. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. Really, this helps a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.